four rainy rounds, the UCI Women's World Tour was finally greeted to some clear skies for race five, as the riders gathered in Ypres for the start of Ghent Wevelgem. Ahead of them lay 143 kilometres through the Belgian countryside, with two cobblefield ascents of the Kemmelberg among the obstacles of the day. Making her come back from a crash at the Ronde van Drenthe, 2017 winner Lotte Lepisto was looking to secure back-to-back -back victories. I think I had really amazing memories from last year. I um, won the race and now I've pinned number one in my back, so yeah, of course, nice memories. <laughs> There's more challenges than last year, so I think it's gonna be win maybe later. So I think it's gonna maybe split in small pieces the, the peloton. It would be nice if there's some wins that we can have some action, and um, yeah, then everything can happen with breaks and solos. But it can al it's also possible that it's a bunch sprint. Uh, we make the best out of it. It's good that there's in between the climbs there's, uh, that there's some action, so it's uh, it's gonna be hard to come back. In, uh, if you are the, not in from in the first part of the climbs. It won't be easy today, it's a, it's a hard race and uh, it's kind of new with the plug streets in it. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to race and now we have Annemiek as well in the team. So uh, an extra strong force, uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward today. After the rollout from Ypres Market Square, the peloton were keen to control any potential breakaway threat over the first half of the race. And everything was together as they came into the first ascent of the Kemmelberg, with 87 kilometres still remaining. However, it wasn't long before the race hit the plug streets. Included as a tribute to the Christmas truce of World War I, the three semi-paved roads were a new addition to the women's race this season. And their testing terrain succeeded in splitting the bunch in two as teams fought for position. High-tech product sprinter Suzanne Anderson was one of the riders who managed to make it into the first group. But the 19-year-old Norwegian was hit by bad luck just before the second ascent of the Kemmelberg as a bad crash ended her chances of a result in Wivelgum. As the race hit the climb, a select group of favourites, including the likes of Ashley Mormon Passio and Amy Peters, picked up the pace at the front and managed to break free onto the descent. The 18 riders quickly managed to gain a lead of around 15 seconds over the chasers. But with Jolie and Dawes Mitchelton Scott teammates driving behind, things were soon back together again. With 29 flat kilometres to go, it was time for some attacks. Wow deals Anushka Costa, the first to try her luck. The former Dutch national champion's escape didn't last long. But no sooner had she been brought back than it was the turn of compatriot Roseanne Slick. The FDJ rider put in a brave effort, getting a gap of 20 seconds at one point. But with 20 kilometres left, her solo mission was sadly brought to an end. More attacks would come as the kilometres whittled down. However, and with less than 10k remaining, Bowles Dolmans and Team Sunweb began to animate things. After Christine Majerus and Leah Kirkman made a brief dig, Lucinda Brand produced a similarly punchy effort with Mormon Passio before Amy Peters tested her legs not long after the 3k to go banner. None of the late moves could stick, however, and as Chantal Black led the race into the closing stages, it was clear things were headed for a bunch sprint. Round the final brand, Chloe Hoskin moved to the front with Ali Cipollini teammate Marta Bastianelli in her wheel and staged a phenomenal lead-out that put the Italian in prime position for the sprint. To her left, Mariana Voss and Jolene Dort were surging forward, but Bastianelli was not to be deterred and kicked herself 100 metres from the line, just holding off her rivals to take her first victory of 2018. Dor came in second behind the former world champion, while Canyon Sram's Lisa Klein put in a strong sprint to earn her first World Tour podium with third. For me, this victory is very, very important for a long work uh, in the winner and uh, in the home I am a baby and a family and for me this work is a very, very hard uh, work but uh, uh, I affront this work with smile and of uh, course uh, the heart. 
In the finish uh, for the sprint, I have uh, Chloe Hoskins. It's a very, very nice girl today for helping me uh, from uh, um, 1K to the finish. And uh, in the finish, uh, my sprint, uh, I came in, but I don't know if I win or no with Jolene. It's a stronger ride, rider, but I win and I am very, very happy. I, I started the sprint on my 12 in the back, on my, on my yeah, 12 chain ring. Um, but then it couldn't go on my 11 and I just just keep pushing it and it just wouldn't go over and, and just 10 meters before the finish it jumped on my 11 but it was too late and it was quite frustrating because um, I felt like I could do a good sprint but in the end yeah Marta was strong and she also deserved to win. It's my first world tour podium and I'm really happy I actually have no words so <laughs> yeah it went really well today. This was my my first goal of the season and I got the chance from the team so they got the girls worked so hard for me so I just had in my head now I I want to pay them back and I want to take the responsibility for the hard work they did today. Despite missing out on the win, Daw could claim a consolation prize as the new holder of World Tour Leaders jersey. It's a nice reward, it's also a good timing so now I can wear it in Flanders in my home race. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna enjoy it. Um, so yeah, it's quite a, it's quite a, a good prize uh, for my disappointment. While Astana's Sofia Bertozzolo regains sole lead of the youth standings. Confirmation of the day's results with Arlena Sierra just missing out on a podium spot with fourth. There was also an impressive top 10 from 18-year-old fellow Astana rider Letizia Paternoster. In the World Tour rankings, Daw holds a 30-point advantage over former leader Kazia Nuadoma, while Bastianelli's win moves her up to third. And in the youth standing, Klein's third-place finish in Wevelgem sees her earn her first points of the 2018 campaign.